Yeah, some tags in here. Wait, I'm trying to get this up again now. Hold on. There we go. Ah, now it'll stay. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's already gone. Good. Oh, look at. I had put all this blue stuff on my eyes. <laughs> Because I was going to make, like, has anybody watched The 100 before? It's a TV series, The 100. Hi, Proud Army Girlfriend. Hi, Cunning Stunt. Uh, hi, Hell Damage. So has anybody watched The 100? It's a TV show. I love that show, okay? And there's this saying that they always said when their enemy was gone. Hello, Rugalin. Where's Spike? Well, he's not up here. He's too old to get up here. <laughs> I'm in a closet. <laughs> Got hiding in the closet. Wasn't me. Hi, Lori. Wild man, I. <laughs> I'm starting to get the hang of this getting in a closet thing. <laughs> they make fun of me because they say, oh, she was out of the closet. Now she's going back in the closet. So I thought, well, I'll find a closet. So I don't mind. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. Hi, Gerald. Oh, I mean, Donna. Hi, Donna. Max, it was Mags American talking crap, huh? Oh. You like it? I like this, too. There's some writing on here of kids and stuff. Um, so I probably, I don't think I should show it because I don't want you to see the kids' names and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's different kids from different times have their names in here. It's pretty cool. Okay. It looks like a cardboard box. <laughs> it does kind of, but look at it. I'm, I'm trying to show you. See, see, looky. Let's see. It's not. It's not. It's a closet. I'm up in a closet. It's up high too. I'm not, I'm not on the ground. I'm up high. It's kind of fun. It's like a little it's a little hideaway for kids, kind of. Hi, Zoe. Hi, uh, um, lip, lip brew? Is that what we're going to call you? Lip brew? <laughs> All bees should be locked in a closet forever. Love from Peaches. Yes. Uh, Spot Check News says, ask the sheriff to recite the five elements of the First Amendment for me. Ah. You okay? So spot check news um, is someone who is one of those that does the uh, filming, like accountability for the police, which I believe there is a place for. So he's kind of a douche, but you know he he has a place, <laughs> like all of us. Okay, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, everyone. I'm buying wine and chocolate for everyone. How much should I buy, Ben? Ben, I can eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Uh, it's called a cubby hole. Yes, yes, I'm in a cubby hole. Yes, I'm in a cubby hole. Look at this. It's, see, it's just a tiny little, little cubby hole. Got a little stuffed animal in there. <laughs> ah, wow. A lot of them. Okay. Hide away for kids. That's all, oh, please. Uh, hello, Lori Darlin. How's my favorite truth seeker? I am doing great. I have had a really good day today, guys. A really good day today. Uh, Max Smith says, was on Dustin live stream yesterday. Three wrenches after 20 minutes are like, Max is big AP supporter. I am like, what? They never banned me. IQ there is 12 on a good day. <laughs> game, game dev says, uh, 20 boxes. <laughs> You're a little greedy game. <laughs> I wouldn't even ask that much. <laughs> Hi, sunny days. Hi, guys. <laughs> Kids weren't held in the closet by pedo protector. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, you're being kind with 12. Yes, cunning stunt. You're right. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. Well, anyway, I found me a closet. So I wanted to discuss today's topic is really for David Riddell and for 1776. Go home. Do not go to this rally. They don't want you there. I posted um, at the very top of this uh, that the the man who is an organizer for um, this rally coming up 
he doesn't want them there. He told David Riddell that he was no longer there. Indiana Bob is no longer allowed to speak there either. Nobody in Indiana that I have talked to so far is impressed with their um, excuses for the pedophiles. It's coming back, just like I said, that when they tried to join groups, it wasn't going to work. And the only reason they were able to join with the J6 vigil is because there were some personal relationships already there and there's some stinky, stinky stuff going on, Mickey and Randy Ireland. Very stinky stuff going on. Randy had stuff to do with um, convoys before the People's Convoy. Then he kind of disappeared a bit and now all of a sudden they're all frenzy, frenzy, frenzy and we'll just overlook pedophiles. So, you know, I'm just saying. There's a stinky shit going on there with Randy Ireland and Mickey, which is Ashley Babbitt's mom. Ah. Anyway, back to 1776. Do not come with your 1776 stuff. Do not come to disrupt this rally on the 15th in Indiana. They are waiting for you. There is a deputy going to be at the door waiting for you so that you do not cause trouble. It is on private property. David Riddell will not tell you that you are not invited, but you are not invited. He is lying to you. He is trying to get you to still go so that you will disrupt this or that you will bring us so that we will disrupt it. Well, I do have no plans to go down to Indiana to this rally. No plans at all. I want this rally to succeed. I want the rally to succeed. So why would I go and bother them? I haven't even posted um, and said a whole bunch of like really big, made a big deal about who the candidates are and stuff because I want you to leave them the hell alone. This is a message for 1776. David Riddell, you are not wanted and you know it. So stop messing with righteous patriot movements. You made your mistakes with the pedophiles. It's on you. You stuck by your mistake. It's on you, sir. And I say that sparingly, calling you sir. You are a bad man who made bad decisions. And now it's coming back to bite you in the ass. We don't want you to destroy what we, patriots, have worked so hard to build up grassroots candidates that we are trying to get in office and you are ruining it. You are doing it. Is this on purpose? Are you ruining it on purpose? Or is it just because of your ignorance and your bullheadedness? I don't know if it's your ego. I don't know, but I really don't care at this point. Stay the hell away from these good movements in Indiana. I know a lot of these people. And when you try to call me the left and you try to call me Antifa, they laugh. They laugh. We share some of the same Antifa stalkers, my friends. I have Antifa stalking me, my friend. I've dealt with bigger and badder than you. So you better stay the hell out of my state. I'm just telling all of you, don't start shit in this state. You have been rebuffed very, very clearly by the organizers of this rally. I am receiving phone calls from other people who have heard about your pedophile stink. And they used to know you. They used to maybe even... Um, know the People's Convoy, or they may know some of you. I am hearing from people who want to know what I know about you. And I'm very willing to tell them. And all they have to do is go look up my facts, not my opinions. I don't tell them my opinions. I tell them facts. 1776 Restoration Movement. The facts that you don't like to face. The facts that you want to sweep under the rug. The fact that you guys had, at least had, convicted level three sex offenders living with children in a parking lot. 
and you allowed it. You allowed it. And when you were told that this was a really bad move and it would hurt your movement, y'all dug in like ticks and you defended that. You defended it, you defended it, and you defended it. To this day, you still defend yourselves. I'm sorry. That was the bad decision. It was wrong. We tried to tell you, this is going to come back and bite you in the ass. And it has. I'm speaking to 1776 members and David Riddell. It's over. Everywhere you go, this will be the response you will get. Do you know what someone said to me today? They said, all I heard, he said he was watching me on one of my lives and all he had to hear was about the pedophiles. And he stopped listening because he didn't need to know anymore. All he had to hear, all anybody has ever needed to hear from me was the truth about your pedophiles about naughty Aubrey hippie mama who at least was, if still is not, doing your books, that she was a underage role-playing porn star and still is, has an active website. You can't erase that shit. You don't, can't just sweep it under the rug with the real world. People who have worked really hard for their candidates, people who have worked really hard to start organizations and to get something going before the election, which is in November. And here you are coming to ruin their rallies, to ruin everything they've worked so hard for. And all of it is in the name of freedom. You are ruining the righteous right movements in the name of freedom. Do you not get how stupid that sounds? Wake up. It's over 1776. It's over. It's over in the real world. When people hear pedophiles living with children, they say, Arr! breaks. We're done. Nope, I don't want nothing to do with that because they know that any politician that gets in bed with you, 1776, they might as well flush their career down the toilet. They will not be reelected. They will get nothing accomplished with your pedophile stink on them. Any group that has you at their rallies will end up with either a counter protest or, or getting their name drugged through the mud with you. Why would you do that to movements who are really doing something? They don't sit in a parking lot or in our national mall on a on a lawn chair talking about freedom and screaming freedom that's not what these people do these people are working full-time jobs they are going out and doing a lot in their communities they are really really worried about today and they don't want to just sit in a lawn chair and do nothing so 1776 david riddell let me tell you, David, I got a special message for David Riddell. There is a special place in hell for you, my friend. A special place in hell for David Riddell. You, sir, are a piece of shit. It's bad enough you made that awful decision to let pedophiles, more than one, live with children and to let naughty girl Aubrey be a big part of your organization and live with the children. It's bad enough you did all that, but you grifted money off of old people, out of people who don't have much. And that really pisses me off too. And it wasn't bad enough that you went and you took money under false pretenses from people, pretending like you're something that you're not and that you were fighting for their freedoms. That's bad enough. But now you're trying to take down other really, really good movements that are doing good things and actually getting something accomplished? That's what your goal is now? David Riddell, you're, you're beat. Go home. It's over. It's over. You cannot wash your bad decisions away and sweep them under the rug only with your own group. The rest of us are not going to forget about this. 
and we will not be silent. I will not be silent. You can put as many restraining orders, false restraining orders on me as you want. I will not be quiet about the pedophiles and the bad decisions that you have made. And I will tell every single patriot, everyone I know about you and your group. And word has already started getting around in Indiana. Let me tell you what, in the patriot movements, Word is getting around. You are not going to be welcome. None of you. And I got a name here I want to speak out. James Woods. Indiana fighting for Indiana. I want to encourage you, sir. I would like to encourage you, Mr. Woods. James Woods, who is the organizer of Indiana fighting, or what is it? Indiana, is it fighting for Indiana? I'm sorry, I'm getting that mixed up. You know these people. And I have heard that you no longer support 1776 restoration movement. You need to make that very public, sir. Very public. Because I'm hearing other things that maybe you are friends with these people and that you are a bigger part of this and that maybe you are not really against 1776 anymore. So it's very important, sir, that you speak up. My email is lauriearnold95 at gmail.com. It's very important that you go public and tell people to stay away from this group and that they're not allowed around in your organization. This is the time to stand up and speak out. And I have heard that Mr. James Woods has done that, that he has told David that he is not um, supporting them anymore. But I've also heard the opposite. And now is the time to put up or shut up. You're either with 1776. And if you're with 1776, then you are part of the decision to accept pedophiles living in a parking lot with children and naughty girl Aubrey and all the other sins that this group has already committed. So you need to speak up. And if you'd like to contact me, it's Lori Arnold 95 at gmail.com. Lori Arnold, 95 at gmail.com. I'll have a conversation with you. Um, but uh, it is time for everyone. If you are part of 1776, you better get the hell out and make it really public because it, it, it's not going to go anywhere and you're going to go down with that sinking ship. I tried to warn y'all and y'all put restraining orders on me. I said I was going to take down 1776, didn't I? I said I was going to take them down. And I'm showing you, it wasn't about violence. We all knew I didn't mean that I was going to be violent. We all knew that when I said I was going to take down 1776 and the people who were associated with it and groups that were associated with it, this is what I meant, folks, from a closet in whatever state I'm in. I can still take it down. You went to Indiana. I'm well known in Indiana. Okay? People, enough people know me in Indiana that when I say something, I've got someone with a good reputation to back me up. That I'm not just some loony, lefty, Antifa. No, I'm not. And I love this country and I will not see you destroy it. You or anybody else, David, in 1776. I don't care if you're destroying it under the name of of our country, under the name of the flag, under the name of freedom. I think that's sick to try to destroy our country in the name of freedom, waving an American flag and yelling freedom and destroying our country. Hmm. So go home. All of you. Fuck you. It's over. The rainbow unicorn won. And I just want to tell all of you, you did this. I didn't do this. You did this. Not about one person. It's never. Do you know why I, I go with such boldness? Why I'm not afraid? Because what do I have to fear? I always have people that have my back. I don't have to be in Indiana to have people who have my back. I, had, I came into the people's convoy with a, people who already saw that what I was doing in my own, um, like in my own home, they saw what I was doing. 
guys, come on. Why am I in a closet? Electric zombie. Because they keep, um, nobody knows where I'm at. And I'm trying to keep this, uh, kind of private because the, I don't want to put people in danger that I'm staying with. So pretty sure only the channel owner can unblock, not mods. Yep. Okay. Uh, Max Smith, the latest on Mags is he is a vet, but refuses to show his DD-214 that will verify honorable discharge. I'll be honest. It's interesting. I don't get caught up on that stuff. I care about the, the, the um, I care about the pedophiles. That's my thing. And I hope that y'all find out the truth to that, whether he's really a vet or not. But I'm not going to say one way or the other. It's not something, not something that I, uh, I know anything about. So, Yeah, it is a good idea. Electric Zombie, have you ever been in a, um, in a closet? It's kind of fun. They always talk about getting out of the closet, and they were making fun of me for being out of, like, in closets. So I thought it was kind of cute just be in people's closets. Hashtag save the children. Ah, and hi, buddy. <laughs> hey, I love that farm you went to. That was really cool. I'd like to go visit a farm too. Yes, when I prayed as a kid, we used to do it. Did you really? You prayed in the closet. I was always afraid of the closet. <laughs> ah, the squeeze might be worth the juice. Oh, that's just somebody else. Uh, let's see. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Defender, I'm staying here for a few days. Oh, okay. Um, you should text me, Aunt. Um, maybe, maybe uh, we could find each other sometime. I don't even really know where you're at right now, but um, I'm going to be traveling around too. So let's keep in touch here. We love the ant, man. I Okay, ant, I really seriously, no, serious. Um, I've been wanting to get tattoo. And I don't have the money right now, but when I get a chance, I want to get, like, ants. I want to get a couple little things just to remind me of all this. And I thought, like, get, like, on my, like, in here or something. Just get, like, a little ant with a little flag, American flag. And then I was going to get, like, on this one, um, get, like, the little, a little uh, rainbow and unicorn and... <laughs> you know, like a little princess and we get the dragon and I don't know, just fun stuff like that. Just to remind me of what we did. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> ben, uh, we have over 500 acres in Tennessee hunting cabin. If you ever down here, which the dog, ah, really 500 acres. Wow. And a hunting cabin. What do you hunt? Do you hunt a deer? <laughs> <laughs> or people <laughs> closet looks like under the stairs looks like my daughter's little oh my girlfriend um she she died a, a ways back but she had this house that they had used for like the homeless i think it was like a office of the place and the homeless so um it was kind of weird. It, it was like the homeless office. I'm sorry. And um, they had cut out in the walls, like tunnels through there and stuff. So you could go from one room to the other, like in this town. It was really cool. It was like a, like a play, play area. They even had like a cutout where you could go through one wall. <laughs> it was pretty neat. Scotty makes friends everywhere he goes, Terminator. You hunt deer and turkey. Ooh, I want some venison. I that turkey is the one animal, the one bird, I should say, that I have not butchered yet. I butchered chickens, duck, geese, guineas, um what else? Peacock. I'm trying to think of all of them. Uh, what are the little ones? Quail. I'm trying to think. I think that's the the ones that I've actually um, butchered for to, for food. Um, very good. I like quail, but they're kind of expensive. Wild turkey tastes much better. Does it? I've never had wild turkey. I got to admit, turkeys, they kind of look intimidating to me. I've done geese. 
And they have a very thick neck, so they are a little harder. Um, turkeys, though, they just look mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pheasant. I haven't done pheasants yet. No. Um, I, I wanted to try a pheasant. Um, what was the other one I wanted to try? Pigeon. Dove. I want to try those. Um, there's all kinds of stuff I'd like to try. I try almost anything. I've been wanting to try snake. Are they easy to clean and... <laughs> Have you guys ever done quail? I got these little tiny quail. I mean, like, literally, they, like, fit in your hand. You know, they're tiny. <laughs> and they're very easy. You just But they look like a little chicken when they're all done. Every bison. Oh, my gosh. Oh, birdie to tweet. That sounds so good. <laughs> I know, Defender. You said you, uh, you had snake. Bison is good. Okay, I had venison once when I was in Germany um, at the Black Forest. And there they... Uh, they don't have deer hunting, but you they hunt their own deer, the, the government does. And, um, oh, I went to a restaurant, and we had venison um, stroganoff, and it was like the darker sauce on there. And then they made like a homemade, um, some kind of fruit, like a darker reddish fruit. I can't remember what it was, maybe raspberry or something, but it was like a little compote. And then they had some whipped, they called it whipped cream. Um, it wasn't sour cream, but it was like, like just it wasn't sweet. It was all whipped up though, and you could mix it all together. And oh my god, it was so good! I love I love venison when it's cooked well and seasoned well. Quail egg, ooh, quail eggs on sushi. Oh, that's different. Clean dove, but the breast only tastes good with bacon wrap. Mmm, dove. I I would like to try that stuff, but I usually get my um. A any animal I get is usually off of Craigslist. Um, you can go it anywhere and go on Craigslist and look up like rabbits or usually roosters and um, old hens are free. And um, so I can get free birds. Um, you can get ducks and geese pretty cheap most of the time. So... I would rather have duck breast than I would um, steak. I like duck breast when it's cooked like a steak. Guinea fowl. I did. I tried guinea one time, and I overcooked the crap out of it. It was like rubber. So I've never really tried it now. <laughs> if it doesn't moo, oink, or cluck, I'm not touching it. <laughs> uh, oh, Rapunzel. Flying fish row over a seaweed-wrapped rice ball. I'd try it. Honestly, I just love food. I like train anything. Mm -hmm. Texas gets me eating sushi, too, so he's very adventurous with his food choices. <laughs> Let's show Von Michelle some love. We love Von Michelle. Von Michelle, we love you. You've had a hard day. I think... I think poor Von Michelle has had a hard day today, and we should maybe show her some love. I've heard your name around, and I've heard people just throwing some really shady shit at you, Von Michelle. I have heard a lot of people saying bad shit about... I heard some mean-ass things being said about you in some chats and stuff. Girl, props. We love you. You're beautiful just the way you are. Be a special unicorn. <laughs> I wonder if Vern will put that song on his, <laughs> on his, uh, well, Vern makes these funny, 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 funny videos about me. Have you heard me in that squeaky little voice? I'm like, hi, my name is Lori. I don't like to go for money. <laughs> My squeaky voice, Vern. <laughs> oh, I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard, laughed so hard. Uh, when I watched that video, it came up on my feed, and I'm like, what the fuck? I started watching it, and I, I love those videos with me and the squeaky voices. <laughs> Lori, I told I told him off, laugh out loud, Vern, in that video. Ellie, it's really okay. I, I, 
get him, but it's funny. I watched that and I, I watched it two times. <laughs> I just get a kick out of people making these videos of me um, saying stuff and they put it in the squeaky voice. And yes, we all need to send Von Michelle some some rainbow unicorn love. Von Michelle, love you, girl. I'll give you a big old hug. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies are free. You like alligator and love iguana. Are we talking food still? Mm-hmm. Uh, by Michelle says they can say whatever just leave me oh leave my sparky Lori AP pluck cunning and all the best peeps alone I'll talk take the trash girl that's how I feel I will sit and watch people say horrible things about me and I'm just like yeah whatever and then they start talking about you guys I don't care who it is if it's AP or it's um Von Michelle or cunning stond or do any of you any of you any of you women, um, pluck, anybody behind the scenes that comes out or says stuff in there and they attack you guys, it makes me mad. Okay, it does. It does. Because they say such horrible stuff. Oh, would you say it was trash talking AP and you and Lori and Ann today? Um, I don't even care. Uh, let's see. Some people just talk shit and hi, Spike. <laughs> you can't get up here. Spike wants to get up here. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> he can't get up here. He's too big. Uh, let's see. Scallops wrapped in bacon topped off with... I've never... I tried scallops once, and I didn't really care for them, but I would try them again because maybe it was just the way they were cooked. I would not order them, though. Let's see. What happened to Vaughn Michelle? Oh, she's been getting really, 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 really talked bad about all over. So we were just giving her hugs and love. <laughs> Cheyenne, yeah. Okay, let me let me go in and see if I can change. Give me one second, okay? I want to get this changed to public so that I can um, actually let you go back and see what it is that you missed. I'm good on that, okay? Uh, Cheyenne, give me a second. Let me see if I can do that right now. <laughs> if you knew how bad I am at this, you would not ask me at this. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, I'll get it public here in a little bit if I can. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Some of my videos you can't go back and you can't watch, but some of them I'm going to be changing to where you can, um, they'll be going out public instead of being held back. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you missed everything about the sheriff because I didn't get a notification. Okay, let's talk about it. I know. Okay, um... You didn't get a notification. Okay, Sheriff. Uh, so, ah, give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke here first, okay? <laughs> if you're getting in late. <sighs> I got a text because... The organizer, uh, um, well, I'm in touch with one of the organizers of the rally here in Indiana on the 15th. And he <clears throat> had contact. I had uh, made some comments somewhere about uh, on social media um, warning people about 1776 coming to the rally. And he got a hold of me. Well, I gave him the evidence that I had um, just a little bit about the a couple of the pedophiles and um, Naughty Girl Aubrey and such, and, and told him some things. And um, he decided, he went and looked it all up and decided that he did not want David Riddell or um, Indiana Bob or 1776 to speak or anything, because they were on to speak. And so he 
talked to the board. They made the decision. And then he contacted me and let me know that David Riddell had been told and that he was not happy and that um, they would not be on there anymore and that they had already taken them off. So if you go to donttreadonindiana.org, they are off of the flyer, David and 17, uh, Indiana Bob. But David Riddell will not tell his followers that he was taken off and he is telling and encouraging them to still go and that the rally is still on. So he's playing with something and he told this man who is also a chaplain that he was doing the work of the devil. So this man, when I told him, hey, they're still planning on coming, um, he went, uh, he told me he was going to talk to the sheriff. So he talked to the sheriff today and the sheriff uh, is aware because I know some other people have called the sheriff's department, Brown County Sheriff Department. And they are actually going to have a deputy there because it's private property and they will, they're aware of the situation and they are there if there's any problems. So my message that you missed was to 1776 and David Bridell to tell them to leave. So I, it, for anybody that missed uh, the beginning, I don't mind repeating myself, guys. I'll keep, if you have a question, I will answer it, okay? Uh, Special Kate Bond, Michelle, just heard what Lori said about you getting harassed, bothered, sorry to hear that. I know you are strong and don't care care about them. And if you need be, we'll dish it back. We support you. Yes. So Vaughn, Michelle, I get what you're saying, girl, about, um, oh, it's don't worry about me because I'm not worried about like people saying bad things. Well, just remember, we're the same way. We see you getting attacked and we want to support you. Just like with Lisa, remember Lisa Hurley, the love we gave Lisa, I support Lisa, um, she's still under attack. And I, I even made a post on it, I support Lisa, well, well we support all of us, I support all of you, I support all of you that support us, you support me, I support you. And, and I'm just sick of all the attacks on you and I'm sorry that they're coming your way, when I can speak up I will. Sassy Pants. Yes, I support Vaughn. I love her videos. Yeah. Vaughn came. Vaughn Michelle came to my court date. Yeah, that's that's big to me. That's big to me. Thank you, Vaughn Michelle. I really appreciate that. I really do. To have support. It's one thing to have people on video, but to come out in real life and to, you know, introduce yourself and to be a part of that day and to support us um, and, and to be harassed because of it. They're only coming after Vaughn Michelle because she stood up against 1776. That's it, period. Not because she's some horrible person, but just like the rest of us, she stood up. Well, man, I support Vaughn, but can't see her. <laughs> uh, Special K, at Vaughn Michelle, how can we help? Butterflies are free. Vaughn is a firecracker. Birdie to tweet. I love her videos, too. She has sweet fur babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Silent no more. Vaughn, we love and appreciate you. See, this is a place. People say we're so full of hate, guys, but we're not. I hate pedophiles. We love each other, right? Pluck. Pluck loves you. Us women especially. All of us. But, I mean, there's a special place for women. We have to support each other. I'm so sick of women tearing each other down. Vaughn, Michelle. Yeah, I'm for supporting too, but it's okay. I don't want anyone doing anything. It's okay. I've dealt with much worse. Believe me, these losers aren't anything that I care about. Yeah, guys, there's nothing that needs to be done except for let's give her some love and support in the chats and just let ever, let each other know that we love each other and that we're here and we do support each other. <laughs> That's all. All you can do. Ooh, what's that? Electric zombie. Rapunzel. Balut is just an egg cooked with the baby duck still in it. You don't eat the duck, just the fatty sack in the egg. That does not sound good. <laughs> I've heard of that kind of stuff. I would try it, but I I don't think I'd like it. <laughs> we, we'd have to go for pizza afterwards. Um, How's life in the big city? Let's see. Unicorn star. <laughs> Hi, unicorn star. <laughs> 
Uh, let them undo themselves. It's more fun to watch. Vaughn, Michelle, I'm with you. It's more fun to just watch people unravel. Sit back and watch it. That's what I do. When people are unraveling, I just kind of pull back and just let them watch and do whatever they want to do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just saw something. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Kay. Um, I'll get with you in a little bit, okay, when we're done with this. Um, a guy I worked with brought some to work. I watched him eat the whole thing, including the... He ate the whole thing? Oh, that is so gross. Oh, my God. I want to go to Japan and eat some of the food there. There's some crazy stuff. You could eat like a frog that's still moving. <laughs> it's dead, but it's still moving. <laughs> it's like crazy stuff you can eat in Japan. And, and in these um, like Asian countries, they eat a lot of stuff that we just don't even think about that to us would be kind of... Ooh. Many sailors learned about Balut in the P.I. Hi, Paradise Pete. It was really gross, says Rapunzel. I bet. I, I bet. <laughs> oh, t ugh. I bet. Did it stink? I bet it stunk really bad. The video froze? No. If I wasn't able to back my shit up, I wouldn't do this. Believe me, many eyes watching all of this. Von Michelle, that's true, girl. I think Von Michelle is our special little um, <laughs> unicorn today. <laughs> we should make Von Michelle our special unicorn. She is very special today, and we love you, Von Michelle, because you're so right. <laughs> you were wearing a mask. <laughs> you, you couldn't smell it through the mask, seriously? <laughs> oh, what'd she say? Yeah, if, listen, I, I don't, if, <clears throat> if I couldn't back up my shit, I wouldn't be out here with you guys either. I, I never would have left my house if I couldn't have backed up my shit and started my activism. So, yeah, because you can't come out and do this kind of stuff with all these eyes on you. I mean, like even you, Von Michelle, you're you're getting some shit and, you you know, because you came out that day and because you speak up on, on social media. I mean, how crazy is that? <laughs> oh, so, OK, we got. um OK. To Pello, I will, I will rewind myself. Like I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. Just give me a second, though. I want to tell. Silent, no more. I'm so glad you're in here. Seventy women who were sexually assaulted, who were sexual assault victims, commit suicide a day in the USA. Seventy women who were sexual assault victims commit suicide in a day in the USA. So thankful for all who stand for victims. Wow. The 22 um, vets that that commit suicide every day. And now you're telling me 70 women who were sexual assault victims commit suicide every day in the USA? Wow. That is a lot. And I can see why. Um, I, I've, I've told you guys before that I tried to commit suicide. And a big part of that was... Um, the hurt from sexual assault and, um, and like pedophilia. And so, uh, it's something that I've seen and I've heard a lot of people talk about and it, it is a destroyer of lives. It is a destroyer of lives. It eats children's souls. It doesn't just, it's not just a physical act. It eats their souls their minds, who they are, their innocence, their childhood. It just eats it up like a monster. And that's why I think anybody who would let a pedophile have a second chance at doing that to another child should totally be ashamed of themselves. Just saying. What? What electric zombie? I see my name. <laughs> It has a special ceremony. At, no, I did not see Scott has a special ceremony at eight. Okay, so I'm going to get off before Scott. So I'm going to tell you guys one more time, okay? And then then we'll be at the end of this, okay? And maybe I'll come on another time. But I want to I want to I want to make sure you guys have time to see Scotty and everything. So let's real quick go over today. 1776 restoration movement needs to know the sheriff down in Brown County has been made aware 
of um, the fact that they are not invited, that that David Riddell and um, Indiana Bob and them still are telling people to come to this rally. David Riddell Santa still is telling people to come to this rally on the 15th, and he's not wanted. They don't want 1776 there. Nobody. It's the 15th. It's the 15th, guys, in Indiana. And so he's been told not to come. And he needs to, he needs to, he needs to go away. Well, instead of telling his followers not to come, he has told them to go ahead and come. So I, I alerted the people, uh, from the, um, the rally that I was talking to and who had disinvited him. And so they talked to the Brown County Sheriff. I know other people had also called the sheriff and has, have talked to them. I've, Talk to these other people. But um, so anyway, he let me know um, that uh, the sheriff will have a deputy uh, because it's private property. And the, they'll have a deputy there um, at the entrance for in case anybody causes trouble. So the good news is that the rally is on um, without 1776. And hopefully the candidates that are there and all the people with them are will have a good rally. I wish them all the best of luck. Um, I, I like the don't tread on Indiana for, uh, the guy from there. Um, uh, the one thing I had said was about, um, so far I've heard that James Woods, uh, fighting for Indiana or something like that, freedom fighting, um, that he's on there. And I heard that he, uh, has disconnected from 1776 restoration movement also. So that's important. And I've asked him to please come up and say something um, to let us know, James Woods, that you also have disconnected. Maybe make something public on your page, however you want to deal with that. My um, email is lauriearnold95 at gmail.com. lauriearnold95 at gmail.com. If you have any information you ever want to send me, send it to me. If I can use it, I'll use it. If I can't, I can't. If I can help you, I will help you. If you have something you want me to address, if you want me to come. Um, there's somebody, some people that say, you know what? Protest. They, they, I can't protest. I wish you would come and protest this for me. Well, guess what? Give me a place to stay. And if I can raise the gas money to get there, I'll come protest. How's that? I mean, because there's some things that are very important that people have been sending me that I just, I'm like, whoa. But uh, I've also got some other people. Thank you, 1776. You have been sending people my way. I've now got another person that I'm going to be working with here, guys, um, that is doing some really good stuff. And I've got some good stuff coming up that I'm going to be following. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to be able to. I've been on the phone with people. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to go and work in Indiana and, and get some stuff done with the people I already have there. Of course, it's cold in Indiana, I think. Um, it's get chilly. So I'm really wanting to go a little bit further south, but anyway, that's the recap and I'll make this public. I'll get to off and I'll make this public and stuff so that everybody can watch from the beginning because there's good stuff and there's a good message for 1776 and David Riddell at the beginning. I love you guys. Peace out. And we love you Vaughn. <laughs>